by UN officials. Libya has once again become one of the region's major military powers. The new Libyan technology represents a significant threat to the stability of the region. Neighboring Arab states are demanding action to prevent what they are calling the violent and unavoidable bloodbath. 7 November, go. This is the captain. Captain, sorry to wake you. We just received an urgent message from Com Subland. Okay, read it to me. Sorry, Skipper. The transmission is eyes only. You will have to sign for it. Have someone bring it to me. Aye, sir. Take that down to the old man, get a signature for me. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Wheeler. Eyes only usually means it's going to get ugly. Lieutenant Wheeler, sir, I have your message. Here you go, sir. Right by the X. Stand by, Lieutenant. Eyes only. Compromised patrol area Yankee Victor, okay. 72 hours ago, Libyan Kilo submarine affected exit of Med gained open sea. Though tracked by U.S. forces, Kilo has broken contact. Subject sub is believed to be headed north in patrol area Yankee Victor. At present time, threat to your mission and platform is considered slight. You're advised of this developing situation, so you may take appropriate action. Disclosure of this message to your officers, men left to your discretion. Continuation of your deterrent patrol considered paramount, all other considerations secondary, subland sands, etc., etc. Have the XO come to my stateroom right away. Dismissed, Lieutenant. Aye, aye, sir. You wanted to see me, Skipper? Kilo-class submarine is believed to have exited the Med. It may or may not be headed into our patrol area. Believed to have exited the Med? How does a Libyan sub just breeze by the Sosis listening posts? How she got out is anybody's guess. I want a full tactical dump on Kilo-class subs. And let's brief Sonar right away. I'll tell Sonar we're on our way. Captain, 
engines and sonar. Good morning, Captain. Morning, Manion. Here the new chart, sir. Well done, Mr. Foster. I want you supervising sonar, Mr. Foster. Drag a cot in here if you have to. You were the sonar whiz in New London, is that right? Well, uh, yes, well, I Well, then suppose. you're the man, Mr. Foster. When can you have those watches online for us? Uh, I'll get them organized right away, sir. Uh, we're also going to need a full tactical dump, everything you've got on the Kilo-class submarine, including upgrades. We were liaison authorized to talk to the carrier battle group. Let's get them on the horn. Very good, sir. We have war, sir. You'll be the second person to know, man, and I promise. Okay, guys, look sharp until I get this thing figured out. Subplant installed this just before we left Charleston. Have you seen one of these before, Master Chief? You ask a lot of questions, Lieutenant. Captain's on the bridge. Officer of the deck, come to periscope depth. Periscope depth, aye. Extend SATCOM mast. Extend SATCOM mast, aye. Very well. Who do you want to talk to, you, Skipper? Mr. Wheeler, get us Admiral Plaskett's battle group. Call sign Charlie One Tango. Sir, CEO, USS Idaho. Three whiskey. This is Charlie One Tango. Actual. Send your traffic. I received the message from Com Subplant, sir. Do you have additional information about the compromise in my patrol area? You know as much as I do, Captain. I can tell you this. That kilo didn't sneak out of the bed on my damn watch. As far as your patrol area being compromised, I wouldn't sweat it yet. I'll find this kilo. You just stay out of my way. If I were you, I'd watch my six. Plask it out. Here you go, Skipper. Captain Exo. You got the nav materials you asked for, Skip? This is the uh, passage chart, sir. This is patrol area Yankee Victor. Our current position via VLF nav fix is here, Waypoint Lisa. Our current heading is 045, our speed is five knots. At best speed, what are the probable positions of a submarine that exited the Mediterranean 72 hours ago? What class of submarine, Captain? Kilo-class submarine, export type, possibly with a performance upgrade. Export, kilo. 11 knots surfaced, 17 died, performance upgrade 19 or so. So, I'm a kilo boat and I managed to sneak out of the med. Naturally, I assume that every swing and dick in the U.S. Navy is trying to find me. So, I play hide and seek. My best speed isn't 19 knots, it's 10. And I sprint from layer to layer. And I'm getting real paranoid playing hide and seek. I'd say he makes 525 nautical miles. Very good, Chief. Well, gentlemen, that establishes an uncertainty zone of 300 nautical miles, 200 miles of which cuts into the southern edge of our patrol. I'm not comfortable with that. Bottom line, he could be here already. So what do you want to do, Captain? Standard speed will be sufficient, but let's go deep. See that the sonar watches are doubled as well. Aye, sir. Have those courses in main control five minutes ago, gentlemen? Aye, Aye sir. sir. XO, let's go see Weps. Aye, sir. Who pulled his chain? I can't get it done that fast. Boss well, goal's starting to look pretty good, isn't it, Mr. Foster? Good morning, Captain. XO. 
What brings you to the Devil's Workshop? What are you doing here, Whips? A little PMS on the guidance systems. Strictly routine maintenance. I'd like to load all the tubes. Make each ready to fire. Can do, sir. Captain. You sure you want to warload all four tubes? Yeah, Webs, Captain, sure. Sorry, sir. It's just a little unusual in a peacetime patrol. Just get it done. All right, then we're going to... XO, right, Captain. Mr. Foster. Um, I've got a problem I want to show you, sir. <clears throat> we just pulled the tow to Ray for scheduled maintenance. It's a routine thing, you know, a couple hours of down. Faster and funnier, Anson. Okay, okay. So, um, well, it's really weird. It's this sort of sound short. It's, it's an intermittent buzz at about five hertz. And the volume changes with our speed. When we go fast, it gets loud. When we go slow, it gets soft. Was it a malfunction in your gear? I cross-checked it with every system we have. It's the same deal, a buzz at five hertz. Best guess, Ensign. What is it? Well, Sir, I, I haven't a clue, unfortunately. I mean, if it were a higher frequency, I'd say maybe it was on the sub, a pump, a compressor, something like that. But five hertz, that's, that's just too darn low. This buzz at five hertz, it doesn't interfere with your sound processing abilities? No, sir, that signal is way under what anybody plays with. Sometimes you can't sweat the small stuff, sir. How long would a hull search take? We'd have to lock out a swimmer, Captain, and that takes a while. Plus, we got somebody looking for us. Uh, the surface layer is not a good place to play hide-and-seek. I want to lock out a diver, Exo. I want a thorough hull search. Are you sure, Skipper? Do I look like I'm sure? All right. I'll notify the con. We'll conduct the lockout immediately. Sir, please insert disc four to continue. Satellite communications. Satellite traffic for the Admiral. Admiral, Miss Matthew, CIA. Should I patch her into the bridge? Admiral. Pipe it into the flag bridge. Admiral Plaskett. Can you see me? Good. When are you going to let me tell these people what's really going on? Two hours, Admiral. Two hours? This thing could go nuclear. CIA, out. I wasn't flattering. Cold, dark, and scary. Open your eyes next time. Let me see this. Very nice. Now somebody tell me what the hell it is. It doesn't look electronic. Found under the port sailplane, Captain, about nine feet. Get it back to the chief engineer. I want to know what it is, what it does, and what it's doing on my ship. Chief, get this thing back to the chain. Tell him I want a briefing in the ward room. Ten minutes. Aye, sir. Chocolate on the bird, man, slows us downward. Dog fight. Ice cream, looks like you put a little weight on between cruises. You know something, Fencil? Your wife. She's a hell of a cook. You know something, Frank? He's right. Pre-flight the bird, two hours ago. We got uh, dipping sonar, Mark 48 torpedo, Sonoboy. Oh yeah. 
and 16 pack of those ding dongs you like. You're a beautiful man, Danny. Let's go hunt a some submarine. Gentlemen. Okay, sir. This was attached to the cell six feet from the deck. This device was affixed to the ship by a lever action suction cup. All right, Chang, but what was making the noise? That was a tough one. No electronic parts, three moving parts. This whole gizmo is an acoustic generator, an underwater whistle. We move, the water streams by the hull. And this little puppy sings. Okay, now we know what. Let's find out who and why. I'm willing to listen to a list of suspects. Who had the opportunity or motive to stick that thing on the hull? I say we start grilling the line handling party. Who? Deck division. Holland, William, Schaefer, Benvenides, Browning. Who was the last man down the hatch, Wheeler? Petty Officer Holland. Well, I say we get his ass in here. What about you, Wheeler? Did you pass by the fair water before we submerged? Well, I passed it twice, sir. After the tug cast off, I assembled the men on the missile deck after the uh, main hatch. You see anything? Nothing, sir. This thing was six feet off the deck. And maybe you just didn't notice? Am I under suspicion, sir? Everyone's a suspect, Mr. Wheeler, until I find out who put that whistle on the hull of my sub. And you saw nothing, Wheeler? Nothing at all? No, sir. Not a thing. Master Chief, get the line handling party in here now. Aye, sir. Everyone that was on the aft line, and the aft line only, one step forward. Get out of my sight. Forward line, same deal. Get lost. Starboard side. Out. What lines were you working, Brimley? Fore and aft, sir. I was the petty officer in charge. He was with me the whole time, sir. What about you, Holland? Aft line, sir. I was supposed to work, except I was late. What side of the sail did you pass as you went below? Port side, sir. I was the last person down. Ward room, Holland. Now. You're dismissed, Brimley. You as well, Wheeler. Aye, sir. Thank you. Why were you late? I met this woman. I overslept. I was kind of hungover. 
Your file's a joke, Holland. 24 page 13 entries, two counts of disrespect. The last one was an accident, XO. That homer was found nine feet up the sail. Who helped you put it there? I didn't do anything, Captain. I never saw that thing my whole damn life. Master Chief, you gotta believe me. Well, I don't, Junior. I think you're a lying sack of grits. Do you know what the penalty is for sabotage? Huh? Under the Uniform Code of Military Justice, it's death, Petty Officer. By firing squad. Who told you to put the homer on the sail, Holland? Who told you to do it? Nobody. I didn't put nothing on the sail. Why don't you believe me? You planted that homer. I was still drunk when I came aboard. You can ask Mr. Wheeler. Let's try it again, Holland, from the beginning. I told you, XO. I was late getting back to the pier. Why were you late, Holland? I closed down the bar at the Raven, sir. I met this woman at the Cape Henry Club. And before you knew it, I was late getting back to the base. Well, this is getting us nowhere, Skipper. What do you want to do? Captain, why don't you and the XO step out in the passageway for a little while? I'd like to talk to Holland alone. I'm placing you under arrest, Petty Officer Holland. The charge is sabotage. Master Chief, confine him in the quiet spaces. Come on, Matahari. I don't know. Maybe he did it. Maybe he didn't. Unfortunately, he's our only suspect. Sorry, Skipper. To continue, you're going to have to insert disc three now. Main control sonar, hydrophone effects, transient torpedo doors opening, bearing three, five, zero. Waiting for us. He's got a flood tube to require. We've got about 20 seconds, sir. Sound the general alarm. Battle stations, torpedo. Battle stations, torpedo. Battle stations, torpedo. Con, sonar range to torpedo door event approximately 9,000 yards. That's going to be a long shot, even for the best commie torpedo. If we evade, we ought to shake it. My intentions are to return fire and break off contact with a hostile submarine. Battle stations, torpedo. Aye, aye. Snap shoot, two, one. Firing point procedure. Standing by, sir. Captain, I have firing solution. Do we fire? Continue to close with target vessel. Prepare to launch torpedoes. Con, hostile weapon contact now bears three, two, five, range. Right. Point procedure, Sierra, 8, 700 two, yards. Four shot loaded, two, one, sir. Speed, 65 knots. Orders, Captain. Stand by. Updating firing. This is getting to be a little more dramatic than it needs to be, sir. Torpedo continues to close. Range 1,000. Torpedo bearing opening. Range 1,150 yards. 1,200. Step 65 has changed course. New heading 240. Countermeasures have taken effect, sir. The torpedo is headed back at Sierra 25. His own fish is chasing us now. Set 65 is circling back, sir. Torpedo has resorted to active homing. Set 65 detonation, sir. Range 10,000 yards. Did he catch his own torpedo? The kilo is either history or he hit the auto-destruct on his own torpedo. Sonar, con, state your contacts. Nothing, sir. Sonar holds no contacts at this time. Breaking noises. Wreckage? Uh, no, sir, nothing. Uh, Kilo-class submarine has broken contact.
Captain, your presence is requested in sonar. Captain's in sonar. What do you got, Ensign? What do you make of that, sir? Whatever the hell it is, it's far away. One convergence zone, two, yeah. Is it the Kilo? No, sir. The, the Kilo is behind us. This one's north, way north, about 120 miles. Acoustic Library says it's a Russian Akula class sub. She's making about 34 knots. At that speed, she's making more noise than your average train wreck. That's why we can hear her. Terrific. Looks like we got a new playmate. Can you give me a course and speed on this contact? Conversion zones are only about six miles wide, sir. Her speed is constant, about 34 knots. That would make her 110, 120 miles away. Now, I can't be exact in terms of bearing, but my best guess would be 180190. She's pointed right at us. Skipper, I can have a brain dump for you on both of those submarines shortly. Uh, I'll go get Master Chief. We got a lot of work to do. Thank you, Anson. I think I have a grasp of the tactical situation. I'd like to hear some suggestions. Well, the Akula submarine, Captain, I don't know. She's not making any secret of her location. Now, why is that? Huh? I mean, why would you travel at all ahead flank unless you want the whole world to know where you are? Maybe that's what he's trying to do. You mean the Akula's deliberately trying to give away her location? Maybe the Akula's trying to drive us south. Into Killer Kilo. Skipper, I just got an idea about flushing out that Kilo. It's weird, but it might work. I don't need weird, Master Chief. Let's rig for silent running. Our best course of action is to make like a hole in the water. Very good, sir. I'll notify main control. Admiral, Miss Matthew, CIA. Should I patch her into the bridge? Uh, no, we'll wait, Willie. Get me the captain of the Idaho first. Yes, sir. Captain, LF signal. It's the battle group requesting you contact them on the SATCOM. Very well. My intentions are to come to periscope depth. Sonar, do you hold any contacts at this time? Nothing, sir. The sonar holds no contacts at this time. Officer of the deck, come to periscope depth. Deploy SATCOM mast. Come to periscope depth. Deploy SATCOM mast. Sky. Very well. Three whiskey go, sir. I have some information you might find useful, Captain. Just a moment. Willie, please connect Miss Matthews to the USS Idaho. Yes, sir. Admiral Plaskett? Wow. Who is that? 
This is the commanding officer of the USS Idaho, and who might you be? Captain, I'm Sharon Matthews, Deputy Director of Russian Strategic Analysis, CIA Langley. I've got some questions. I hope you have some answers. Why is a Libyan submarine a threat to us? A submarine isn't Libyan, Captain. It's Russian. The kilo was purchased by Libya last month. The Libyans hadn't placed the sub in commission yet. The kilo and a Russian crew absconded from Benghazi four days ago. Why would the Russian Navy be trying to sink us? It isn't Russian Navy officially. The same day the Kilo outchopped the Med, an Akula-class fast attack made an unscheduled sortie from Murmansk. An hour after it cleared the bar, it was fired upon by an ululoy class destroyer. The Akula sank her with a missile shot. I'm going to have to review your clearance information, Captain, before I continue with this brief. CIA, out. This stuff must be pretty exciting when you're in a safe, dry situation room. Hydrophone effect. Incoming Helmsman, all ahead, flank. Diving off their 20 degree down bubble, submerge the ship to 800 feet. Submerge the ship to 800 feet. Con sonar, hostile weapon bears 190, speed 63 knots, range 3,000 yards, range decreasing. That fish has still got us, Captain. Order, sir. Get me a firing solution. Firing point procedure, Sierra 2-5, 2-1, single fire at cap. Con, torpedo reports 2-1 ready, sir. Orders, cap. Fire, 2-1. Weapons, Con, 2-1, single fire at cap, stand by. Weapons standing by, sir. Shoot. Mark 48, ad cap torpedo course 045, run is enabled. 8,500 yards to target Sierra 25. Mark 48, running, sir. Sierra 25, course change, now steady on course 130, target speed 17 knots. Mark 48 continues to run, course 045, 7,000 yards to impact. Like waiting for a valentine, it's never going to come. Target Sierra 25, course change, now opening. Target course 090. Mark 48 continues to track. Prepare to fire second torpedo. Firing point procedure, Sierra 25. Tube 2, single fire at cap. Weapons, all tubes ready, sir. Orders, Captain. Fire tube two. Shoot. Torpedo has gone active. 60 seconds to impact target Sierra 25. 55 seconds. 50 seconds. Con sonar target course change. Sierra 25 now steady on course. 060 speed unchanged. Sierra 25 has altered acoustic signature. Con sonar, Sierra 25. Contact is now classified as an Ohio class SSBN. Torpedo safety recognition is activated. He's pretending to be off. Mark 48 ad cap is disengaging, sir. Orders cap. Place Mark 48 in command mode. Order the torpedo to kill Sierra 25. Captain, that torpedo disengaged because it thought that kilo was us. As far as that torpedo knows, there are two USS Idaho's out there. We order that ad cap to acquire and kill. We got a 50-50 chance of catching our own fish. I gave you an order, XO. Put the Mark 48 in command mode. Order it to kill Sierra 25. Weapons officer, place Mark 48 into command mode. Mark 48 running, sir. Order the torpedo to acquire and kill contact Sierra 2 Mark 48 has acquired. Con sonar, Mark 48 has gone active. Con sonar, hydrophone effect. Mark 48, ad cap detonation. Range, 2000 bearing, 045. Did we get him? Hydrophone effects, kilos breaking up, sir. We nailed her. Oh, yeah. hey. Quiet. Quiet in the con right now. 
At ease, gentlemen. Torpedo has gone to active homing. Hostile weapon continues to close. Torpedo continues to close. Range 1,000. Torpedo bearing opening. Range 1,150 yards. 1,200. Set 65 falling astern, sir. Screws are slowing. Engine stop now. She's out of gas. We've outrun it. Sonar, con, state your contact. Torpedo is no longer a factor, sir. Sonar holds no contacts at this time. Sir, please insert disc four to continue. Mark, you on watch? I just got off, Master Chief. Get back on. I just came from the cook. Can you talk to him? About what, actually? About the trash disposal unit. Captain asked about it yesterday, and I told him you'd take care of it. Well, you lied. Now, you want to tell that to the old man, or would you like me to? Just leave it as it is. That's right. It's been making the same noise since we left King's Bay. It's trying to chew something up. Something like this? It looks like one of Wheeler's sensitive little tea bags. I'm telling you, this thing fits somewhere. Little help here, Chief, huh? You're the engineering genius, sir. I think we know who put the Homer on the sail. Wheeler, one of his tea bags was stuck to this. Place him under arrest, XO. I'll save you the trouble, Skipper. You stay back! I want everybody back! Captain, I want everybody back! Now! Stand up, gentlemen. Come on. Stand back! Don't do this, Mr. Wheeler. Stand back! Inside of here, guys. About four or five hundred pounds of C4, that's what. And about 50 gallons of torpedo fuel. That'd make a pretty noise, wouldn't it? Put the gun down, Wheeler. You don't really want to hurt anyone. Uh, especially the folks back home, huh? Another espionage scandal. Now that hurts people. That shakes their faith in the American way, huh? Why, Wheeler? Why'd you do it? The money. Back in the 80s, the Russians used to pay real well. But that sort of dried up. I really thought I was done. I thought I was out of it. But they came back to me right before we left Kings Bay. And they told me that they wanted me to attach that gizmo to the sail there, or else they'd go public with our little past performances together. And that would have been embarrassing. Now you're going to kill 155 men. Exactly. Well, goodbye, gentlemen. I always wanted to cold cock an officer. I thought I had you handcuffed to your rack. He did, Master Chief, but I had a Swiss Army knife in my pocket. I had to use the head, so I fobbed my way out. Put yourself in for Sailor of the Month, Holland. Cuff Wheeler better than you did Holland, Master Chief. Can someone take this from me? They really make me nervous. Sonar. Active? I'll drop a Mark 48 on their back deck. He's setting up a torpedo shot. Come.
Ion Sonar Hydrophone Effect Contact Sierra 27, evaluated to be a Kula class submarine making 15 knots on one seven bladed propeller. Captain, Akula has gone active with her sonar. She is setting up a firing solution. Guess who she's aiming at? Get me a firing solution. Firing point procedure, Sierra 27. Tube 1, single fire ad cap. Con, torpedo reports, tube 1 ready, sir. Match bearings and shoot. Weapons, con, two, one, single fire ad cap, stand by. Weapons standing by, sir. Shoot. Mark 48 ad cap torpedo course is 045, run is enabled. Sierra 27 course change, now steady on course 130, target speed 17 knots. Mark 48 continues to run course 045. Like waiting for a Valentine that's never going to come. Target Sierra 27 course change now bearing opening target course 090. Mark 48 continues to track. Mr. Foster, what's the time to Mark 48 impact? Torpedo has gone active. 60 seconds to impact. Target Sierra 27. 55 seconds. 50 seconds. Uh, con sonar, target course change, Sierra 27 now steady on course, 060, speed increasing. Sierra 27 is now making 37 knots, repeat 37 knots. Impact in 3, 2, 1. Con sonar, hydrophone effect, mark 48 ad cap detonation, range 2000, bearing 045. We get him? Oh shit, he just fired. We're right over the bastard. Tell him we can take him out right now. Negative, Charlie 1, it's not clear to us hot. We were ordered to hold fire. We gotta do something, sir. We got an idea. Look, Commander, we've got negative fuel numbers. The flames are music. Target Sierra 27 course change now bearing opening target course 090. Sound collision alarm. All hands collision alarm. Con sonar. Something's going on. What is it, sonar? I don't know. Somebody's jamming the set 65 sonar. Put it on the 1MC. Deflected course, sir. Uh, new heading 180. Pull up the hydrophone. Ensign's right. Give us a course back to the boat, Danny. You boned us. Relax, Brucey. We're gonna make it back to the boat. Look, Commander, I can do the math. We're gonna splash. Why don't you go back and give Danny a hand, Bruce? Help him kick out the Mark 48s and disarm him. You're gonna ditch two live torpedoes? Mr. Huff's right, Skipper. They weigh 2,300 pounds apiece. Pull the fuses, disarm them, kick the sonar panel out if you have to. Need to lighten this bird up. Relax, man, we're gonna make it. Man, we're not gonna make it. Stand by. XO, VHF radio traffic. It's a friendly SH-3. He's declaring a fuel emergency. I got my hands full right now. It's Ice Cream 27, sir. He's not going to make it back to the carrier without a nav fix. Those are the guys that jammed the Akula, Captain. I think we all... Do I have to remind you we're in a torpedo battle here? Come to periscope depth. Give him a nav fix. Very good, sir. 
Officer of the deck, come to periscope depth, deployed VHF mast. Aye, aye, sir. Sparks, stand by to transmit range in bearing to the battle group. Aye. VHF traffic from USS Idaho. They just bursted us a range in bearing to the battle group. Bearing 178, range 60 miles. We're going to cut it close. Five knots ahead, wind, and we're going to be in the soup. <laughs> Do the math, Bruce. We're going to make it. Con sonar, hydrophone effect, Kula class submarine making 15 knots on 17 bladed propeller. Firing point procedure, Sierra 27, 21, single fire at cap. Con, torpedo reports 21 ready, sir. Captain? Shoot! Weapons, Con 21, single fire at cap, stand by. Weapons standing by, sir. Shoot. Mark 48 ADCAP torpedo course is 045. Run is enabled. 8,500 yards to target Sierra 27. Mark 48 running, sir. It's Sierra 27 course change now bearing opening target course 090. Mark 48 continues to track. Ready tube 2. Firing point procedure Sierra 27 tube 2. Single fire at Weapons all tubes ready, sir. Target Sierra 27 course change now bearing opening target zero nine zero. Mark 48 continues to track. Oh Microphone effects. That cooler breaking up, sir. She's going to the bottom. Quiet on the con. Quiet on the con. I want absolute silence. Incoming right torpedo now. has acquired. Torpedo is active. Torpedo continuing to close. Torpedo has gone to active homing. Hostile weapon continues to close. Torpedo continues to close. Range 300. Sound collision alarm. All hands, collision alarm. Torpedo continues to close. 200. Torpedo bearing opening. Range 150 yards. 200 yards. Oh, baby. It's a clean miss. 500 yards. Torpedo continues to pass the stern. 800 yards and still opening. Torpedo self-destruct, sir. 900 yards. Sonar, stern. state your contacts. Okay, Torpedo is no longer a factor, sir. Sonar holds no. Say again, no contacts at this time. Wild Bill, sir, he wants to talk to you. You call the Admiral Wild Bill. Uncle Bill and I go way back. Bravo Zulu, Idaho, well done. You can be proud of yourselves. You've brought the world back from nuclear annihilation, defeated the forces of evil, and generally kicked butt. I'm going to put you boys in for some basket leave at the end of the month. Thank you, Admiral. You're too kind. Son, don't I know it. That's what happens when you get old. 
Your granddaughters make you all mushy. You did me proud, Idaho. Plask it out. Nice job, Skipper. Waiting on new orders, sir. Surface the ship, XO. I think I'd like to get a little air. Very good, sir. Observe the deck. Surface the ship. Surface the ship by. 